everyone, this is Delay and Essie, and we're just going to have a quick little chat and um, show you a couple things that we found this summer and yeah, talk a little bit about we are at the end of summer um, for sure now because we heard that tonight it is most likely going to freeze at our house. So we were very it's sad. Really sad. <laughs> so we went out and we gathered some of the last of our flowers because, yeah, we're going to be so sad. We're going to miss these beautiful flowers. I just loved this one. It's such a beautiful, soft lavender on the tips of the petals. So this is a dahlia. I don't know its name, um, but it's a very, very gorgeous little flower. Um, we didn't get very many of these this year, but uh, just a few. Mm -hmm. Essie's got uh, her twin A and B dressed so cutely. They look kind of springish, but... Mm -hmm. um, it's only matching set of clothes I have for them, though. Oh, I need to get some more matching yes, clothes. Yes, we do. But, so. but you know what? I just enjoy these colors anyway. Mm -hmm. It's just fun to see them dressed in that. The twin A and B are just such precious little kids mm -hmm. and I just love how they pose together so nicely. Mm -hmm. They always seem like they want to cuddle up to each other. Just Bonnie Brown did a really really good job of sculpting the hands and stuff in just the poses. That, <coughs> yeah they're just so perfect. Yep still definitely some of my yeah. favorite kits. It's neat that she they're made so them have their own individual arms and legs too mm -hmm. so that they're, they're, so they're not they're different. Exactly the same. Yeah. That's kind of cool. But anyway, they're going to sit there while we talk a little bit. Um, I, I found a couple of things at uh, garage sales and auctions this summer. And uh, we were just at the, those auctions last weekend with our son and daughter-in-law. And I found these two little dolls. And I thought those were interesting. And I'd just, just love it if anybody out there knew anything about them. I can't find any markings or tags anywhere on them, but I think that they come either from Switzerland or Germany. It seems like they're dressed um, mm -hmm. like that. Um, they've got really nice felt clothes, and then they've got uh, these little leather shoes that are just adorable. They fit so nice. I would imagine they come off and on, but I didn't really want to take them off and on. And the socks and everything they're just made really nicely and then the bodies are are bendable they've got like a wire armature running through them so you can bend their arms and legs um, and yeah they're soft their heads are <coughs> kind of hard but they're covered with a cloth so yeah I think they're dressed like Swiss mm -hmm. but um, yeah and he's got a little leather leader hosen is that what you call that I think that's what their little shorts are called, as lederhosen. They're the so cute. Suspenders. He's got the little feather in his hat. And his shirt is felt. He has a feather too. Yeah, they're just adorable little dolls. I thought they'd be so fun for children to play with. Or if we have any little Swiss stories or Heidi or anything to have the little characters to go with that. We'll have to get them a goat. And here's another little treasure that I found at a garage sale um, this summer. And it's a little all porcelain jointed baby, um, antique, of course. Um, and I don't know anything about it because it has a starling little crocheted wool thread um, outfit that somebody had made for it. And it's just so adorable. And I cannot get to anywhere on the body or on the... Well, I could see the back of the head, but um, anywhere where there would be markings. If there were markings on it, they'd likely be on the back of the body, and I can't get to that without destroying the outfit, and I don't care that much about what it is, but if anybody recognizes it and knows what um, this, uh, what the maker would have been for this doll, that'd be interesting. But to me, it looks like with the the painting on the hair and such it looks like it could possibly be like a little Kessner baby or a Hubach. But if anybody knows you could let me know. <clears throat> but yeah, I thought that was really a cute little find and I got it for just really cheap, like maybe five dollars or something. I know it'd be worth a lot more than that. So um cute little antique find for our collection. <clears throat> 
so yeah that's what I could think of to show you right now and um, so again like I said we're we're sad that our um, summer is truly over now and uh, so we wanted to show you a couple of other more bouquets that we made too um, yeah, so so these are uh, three more bouquets that we made we wanted to show you um, this one's all yellow dahlias with um, some little blue forget-me-nots I think tucked in we thought they looked pretty together and then we've got another all uh, peachy pink tones of dahlias those are my favorite color so I wanted to get one more bouquet of those to enjoy and then we also had some gladiolas and I thought these were really pretty just kind of the last of those out there too so yeah we're sad but we wanted to um, share these with you one more time and we're going to enjoy these over the next few days because that'll be the end of it so yeah I don't know how the weather is where you are but we are approaching late fall now and the weather's really changing suddenly and we looked mm -hmm. at the forecast ahead and it doesn't look like we're going to have any really warm days for a while here yet so hopefully we'll have an Indian summer later on um, and get a, a few more days of warm weather so thanks for watching and oh last reminder our giveaway we're planning on uh, doing the drawing on the 1st of October so you've got just a couple days here yet if you wanted to enter um, look back at our uh, video where we explain how to enter and uh, in, so hopefully you'll have time to do that yet. So we will talk to you again soon. Bye.